Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending our homework on genome challenge session. My name is Katsuki Kozuka. I'm a researcher at Panasonic, one of the co organizers of this task. My aim in the next few minutes is to provide an overview of this workshop. So let's get started. Homo exchange challenge is one of the guest tasks of multi view and cross model video understanding at the activity next challenge. And Homo exchange genome are uh, data set for compositional activity recognition in the home. And the data set includes multi view and additional sensor modalities. We will have a track of sync graph generation in this challenge. We will use multimodal sensor gate for the data correction. This multimodal sensor includes 12 sensor type, for example, cameras, and thermal sensor, and microphone, and so on. In home action genome, we recorded 27 participants in kitchen, and bathroom, and bedroom, living room, and laundry room in two different houses. Each sequence has one ego view video as well as at least one or more synchronized side of us views. We added 75 activity and 453 atomic action in 1,752 synchronized sequence and 5,700 video in total. For every action, we sampled three or five frame activity action and annotated the bounding box of person performing the action along with the uh, object they interact with. Hi, everyone. I'm Shun Nishitaka, a researcher belonging to Panasonic. In this presentation, we report the result of Home Action Genome Competition under the Activity Net Challenge 2021. In particular, we announced the results of Task 2 the scene graph generation task. Among the various annotations in home action genome, scene graph information is provided to describe human actions. It describes the bounding boxes of people and objects and their relationships in actions. In this track, the algorithms need to predict path frame scene graphs, including how they change as the video progresses. Participants are also allowed to leverage audio information and synchronize eccentric view. For evaluation of scene graph prediction, we use the evaluation matrix as scene graph classification, SGCLS. The task is to predict object categories and predicate levels between the person and each object. Participants can use input information as video and ground truth boxes. Evaluation metric is recall at K. We compute the fraction of times the ground truth relationship triplets and predict it in the top K most confident relationships predictions in each tested frame. We use the K as 10 or 20. Now comes the most exciting time to announce the winners. The third place winner is Jim, Ice, and Denso. In their method, the overall framework consists of image module, bounding box module, semantic module, and video module. And each module are added together for scene graph prediction. And they achieved the score of accuracy is 0.658. The team members are Kensho Hara, Yasufumi Kawano, Yoshiki Nagasaki, EQ, and Hirokatsu Kataoka. Congratulations! The second place winner is Team Layer 6. They incorporate prior information from the egocentric views into object classifier to improve the classification accuracy, and then they propose to dynamically infer relationship graphs 
using a novel form of attention. And they achieved the score of accuracy 0.684. The team members are Ikeo Ru, Jason Chen, and Himash Ray. Congratulations! And the first place winner is Team IMBA. They design a three-stage algorithm flow. Specifically, the three stages are detection stage, relation prediction stage, and relation combination stage. And they applied swing transformer-based SCG model for this task. And amazingly, they achieved great performance. The squad of accuracy is 0.766. The team members are IC Chen, Yi Liao, Yang Tian Wang, Mel Lu, Yao Li, and C Liu. Congratulations! More detailed information about the winners and each method, as well as the results, can be found on the website. Future update of Home Action Genome will be posted on this website, so please check it out. That's all on my side. Thanks. Hello everyone, I'm Ruth from AISP and today I'm going to talk about our model for Home Action Genome Challenge Task 2. Here is the overall framework. The overall framework consists of image module, bounding box module, semantic module, and a video module. The logics of each module are added together for object and predicate prediction. The network output scores for each object and predicate. And basically, the overall framework is inspired by RareD and which is proposed at CVPR 2019. Firstly, we conducted experiments on different modules. And uh, de in detail, we experiment on image and video and the combination of image and video module. And we found that the image module is important for obtaining better object prediction accuracy for the current network. And then we found that the video module tends to perform better for predicate prediction. Next, we conducted experiment on different parameters for image-only module. And we found that the ResNet 152 and 101 are slightly better than ResNet 50. And for predicate prediction, we first compute the dis distribution of predicate list for each object and then we determine the score of each predicate list for all objects. And then we record the scores of each predicate for all objects, which is computed through the network. And finally, the final score of each predicate list for each object is computed by multiplying the prior scores with the predicate scores. Here is the result of our final submission. For our final submission, we implemented an image-only module with 224 image resolution. And for image feature extraction, we used ResNet 101. And for object and predicate prediction, we used two-layered MLP with hidden dimension of 256. To summarize, uh, during our experiment, we found that image module is important for predicting objects and video model tend to perform better for pre predicate prediction. And also at the same time, we, uh, we found that the network needs to be improved for combining image and 
video information better. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. We are Team Layer 6 AI participating in challenge number two of the Home Action Genome Competition. In this presentation, we describe our solution to this challenge, where we propose a multi-view scene graph generation model tailored to video datasets. In this presentation, we begin by describing the scene graph generation test in general, followed by a description of the Home Action Genome dataset. After that, we describe our solution to this challenge, followed by a result of the proposed model. Scene graph generation is an, an important task in computer vision aimed at improving the semantic understanding of the visual world. A scene graph is a structured representation of an image where nodes in a scene graph correspond to object bounding boxes with their, with their object categories and edges correspond to their pairwise relationships between objects. The task of scene graph generation is to generate a visually grounded scene graph that most accurately correlates with an image. Successful applications of scene graphs in real world include image captioning, video understanding, and visual question answering. Home Action Genome is a large-scale multi-field video database of indoor daily activities. Every activity is captured by synchronized multi-view cameras including an egocentric view. The task is to predict object categories and predicate labels between the person and each object. Participants can use input information as video, other modalities, and ground truth boxes. In the home action genome dataset, there are in total 30 hours of videos, 70 classes of daily activities, and 453 classes of atomic actions. In the training set of the challenge number two, there are in total over a million of relationship annotations annotated on over 2.6 thousand videos. Compared to other scene graph generation datasets, the home action genome dataset has some of its unique challenges. Firstly, the home action genome dataset contains complex videos with many objects. This, in turn, makes it very hard for the model to predict the relationship just by relying on class co-occurrence. In addition, there were multiple set of relationships possible between a pair of objects, and the model need to predict all of them correctly. Furthermore, in the home action genome dataset, there were many obfuscated and tiny objects which pose additional challenges. While we have egocentric views, which can aid the model to make class predictions, this egocentric view does not have localized boxes. Now we present our approach to this challenge. We propose a three-stage based pipeline, where in the first stage, we use an ensemble of state-of-the-art image classification models to classify object labels. And in the second stage, we use a self-attention-based transformer encoder for encoding contextualized box representations. Finally, in the third stage, we combine the outputs from the previous two stages and pass them to a gradient boosting machine, which makes the final pre predicate predictions. Now we describe the detail of the first stage. We follow the existing literature in object classification to predict the labels for objects in both the egocentric view and the exocentric view. This is important because each view has its own pros and cons. The egocentric view provides better views of objects, but it has very smaller contexts and no bounding boxes labels. On the other hand, the exocentric view, it provides localized boxes and more video context. However, in many cases, the objects in the exocentric view are small and obfuscated. What we are trying to do here is that we try to learn from both the views for better classification. 
Specifically, we train individual classifiers first on each of the views. As shown in the example here, the classifier trained on the exocentric view could not have could have a difficult time in identifying the object as a tapawa, while the egocentric view provides additional useful information for classification. For classification, therefore, we employ a joint classification module which learns from both views and fixes the mistakes from each of the individual view. We use an ensemble of classifiers for each of the view. We then take the softmax scores from both of the classifiers and pass them through our integration network. The integration network comprises of a cascade of NLP layers with nonlinearity. The integration network also takes as input the raw image features from both views, which helps it to classify object labels with higher accuracies. The final confidence from this model, as well as the spatial, visual, and semantic features extracted from bounding boxes, are fed into the relationship module. Now we describe the second stage, where we use an attention-based transformer encoder for encoding relationships and box features. The majority of existing SYNGRAPH generation models operate on pairs of objects found during the detection stage. Object features are generated independently of each other, so the pairwise model is only able to capture information local to the two objects. Such architecture has a significant drawback, where by focusing only on a specific object pair, the model loses global context information. This is particularly pr problematic in cluttered scenes, where many objects are in close proximity, proximity to one another and have common relationships. Pairwise models are thus unable to jointly reason about nearby objects and this can lead to incorrect predictions. Take the left side image as an example. In this image, there are in total three records and each of them is held by a different person. In order to know which person holds which record, the scene graph generation model needs a global understanding of the scene so as to accurately assign records to the correct person. We use a novel form of self-attention where we use a transformer-based encoder to encode contextualized box features. To do so, we first form the detected bounding boxes as a sequence, and then we apply transformer encoder upon that. The output from the final layer of the transformer encoder is regarded as the contextualized box features for each box, since it has gathered information from all the other boxes in the same scene. Training the attention layers end-to-end -end enables our models to learn how to opt opt optimally extract contextual information that has been beneficial to this scene graph generation tasks. Finally, we describe the detail of the third stage where it takes as input the output from the first two stages and combine it to pass it to a gradient boosting machine to get the final predicate prediction. In the third stage, we exploit engineered spatial, semantic, and visual features as well as the predictions from the previous two stages. Here, semantics features refer to features that encode the frequency of subjects and objects and the frequencies of each predicate given a specific subject-object pair. These are highly relevant because the home action genome dataset is highly unbalanced. Some of the predicates are much more popular than the rest of the predicates. We additionally extract spatial features that encode the bounding boxes coordinates of subjects and objects, their relative positions, IOE, etc. The spatial and semantic features are all extracted from the boxes and their statistics. Here we explain why a spatial feature is important. Some of the relationships, 
like on and at, they are highly spe spatial. Take the left side image as, as, as an example. As soon as the model knows that the human boxes and the horse boxes has this relationship in, in terms of spatial, it will know that the human is riding a horse without even seeing the actual image. On the other hand, other relationships like holds and wears, they do not have such strong spatial signals. However, they need visual dependencies in order to make correct predictions. Take the left-hand side image as an example. This image has two microphones. While both microphones are close to a speaker, however, only the left side person is holding the microphone. And therefore, the model needs to use the raw image inputs so as to accurately make the predicate predictions. Up to now, we have described our solution to this challenge. In this challenge, the evaluation matrix is recall at k, where we compute the fraction of times the ground truth relationship triplets are predicted in the top k most confident relationship pre predictions in each tested frame. Here we use k equals to 10 and 20 in this challenge, and the final score is an average of the two scores. As we can see, our approach ranked the second among all the participating teams in this challenge. This concludes our presentation for this challenge. Thank you everyone for your attention and time. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Ai Xi Zhang. I'm from Alibaba Group. Our team name is uh, IMBA, and we rank the first place in the Home Action Genome Thin Graph Generation Challenge. In this slide, uh, I will show you our solution for the Home Age Thin Graph Generation task. The presentation has, has four parts, including the task analysis, our solution, the experimental results and the summary. For the home image thin graph generation task, it first gives a radio of daily activities at home. Then this task aims to predict per frame thin graphs to describe the relationship between a person and the object, which is used during the execution of uh, an action. Therefore, the task also predicts how the thin graphs change as the video progresses. For example, in this video, the person first holds the basket, and then he opens the washing machine, and next he holds the closers. You can see a position relation in front of between the person and the washing machine in the second frame. That means uh, there are usually more than one relation for human object pair, including action relations and position relations. In this slide, we analyzed the homemade data set in detail. It has more than 2,000 of videos and more than 100,000 of valid frames. Each frame has uh, 3.4 human object pairs in average, and each pair has 2.5 relations in average. Specifically, uh, the pro proportion of 1 to 3 relations per pair is over 96.5%. That means uh, we can ignore the case for more than 4 relations per pair in our relation combination module. By the way, the object class and the relation class have both significant long tail distributions, and this can be a point to promote their performance. Finally, we randomly select 400 videos as our validation subtype for the following experiments. As shown in this slide, we design a three-stage algorithm flow for this task detection, relation prediction, and uh, relation combination. 
We use detection models to extract the object class labels with the given boxes. And then we predict the relations for each human object pair. Finally, we adopt a beam search algorithm and frequency relating trick to give the final relation combination for each pair. For the object detection part, we train two kinds of strong detection models. The first model is a swing transformer based cascading mass classing model. Here, the second model is a resonance based fast classing model. For the detection application, we extract the class label for the given box for each object. The swing model achieves 18.7% accuracy, and the resonance model achieves 79.9% accuracy. Then, we optimize multi scale inference and ensemble the two kinds of model. The final label prediction accuracy is 84.6% here. Next, we use a state of art, the art two state human object interaction detection framework. The spatially conditioned graphs to predict the HOI relations. Specifically, we implement the swing transformer backbone into the SDG framework. And this promo promotes much compared to the default ResNet backbone in the original SDG framework. We also implement the ResNet backbone, and we choose to submit the swing transformer backbone only, since it achieves the strongest performance. This table shows the experimental results on the validation subset. We only show our implemented swing SCD model here with various detection results and the combination tricks. The detection ensemble pro, uh, promotes score from the from 69.4 to 17.3.1. The frequency promotion in the final combination part, promotes the score to 78.6. Finally, we submit the model and achieves 76.5% accuracy. And this score makes us uh, rank the first place in the final test leaderboard. To summarize, to summary, we design a three-stage algorithm flow for the, for the homemade syn graph generation task. And we apply swing transformer-based SGG model for the human object interaction prediction. And we achieve the first place in the homemade syn graph generation challenge. That's all, thank you.